Here's how you mount the Lewis multi-drill direct drive onto your chainsaw. Just check the box, make sure you've got the right version. Everything you need to attach it to your chainsaw comes in the box. You will need, however, a 7 16 wrench, a 9 16 wrench, set of Allen keys, and some thread locker and some thread sealer. Now the first thing you need to do is take the bar off of your chainsaw. And when you have the bar removed, you'll see that the chain sprocket, a washer, and a spring clip remain. So remove the spring clip and take off the washer and the sprocket. You can put the little spring clip back on again to make sure you don't lose it. Next is to split the multi-drill in half and take the mounting bracket off of the back. Save the nuts and the washers, you'll need those in a minute. And then mount the mounting bracket onto your saw using your same chainsaw bar mounting nuts. Put a little thread sealer on there to make sure that they don't come loose. Now, next what you want to do is follow the instructions on how to put your adapter together. Again, put some thread locker on those. And then mount the multi-drill on top, just to dry run, and make sure that the adapter has a little bit of back and forth play, but not too much. If it has more than a half an inch, you might want to put that spacer in there. Now bolt everything on there nice and tight, again, making sure that the, the adapter is uh, straight and has a little bit of back and forth play. These nuts also should have some thread locker on there to make sure they don't vibrate loose. Now your next step is to screw the drive adapter into the bottom of the Lewis multi-drill. Not quite tight, leave it back about a half a thread. And then slide, slide on the drive sleeve with the set screw toward the bottom so the set screw actually digs into the drive adapter and not into the multi-drill itself. Don't forget to put some uh, thread locker on there too and then tighten that set screw up nice and tight with your Allen key. Next step is to put the handle on. Now there's three bolts on the top of the multi-drill. Remove those, but these do go into the oil cavity, so make sure it's upright and the oil doesn't run out. Line up your handle where you want it, put the bolts back into place, and put some thread sealer on there just to make sure that they don't leak if your multi-drill ever ends up upside down somewhere. Slide on your auger and you're ready to get to work. That's how the Lewis multi-drill does that. <laughs>